Hey guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad. I am just hanging out here in the rocking chair and I've already milked this morning, got a gallon and a half, put it in the fridge and this little lady right here is boycotting her nap. She, ooh, that's bright. She uh, normally would take a nap about this time. Yeah, that's you. Is that you? And she normally takes a nap, falling asleep, drinking her bottle of milk. You think that's funny, huh? But it's not funny. She needs to be taking a nap. So I'm trying to sit here and rock with her and see if she'll go to sleep. In the meantime, um, we've got piano lessons and other stuff going on today. Um, so I will take you along where we can. Can you say hi? Can you say bye bye? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> So a while back, I ordered another uh, pellet gun, and this is the pellet gun right here, pointing in a safe direction. It is the American Classic. Um, it is a pellet pistol. It's uh, pump action, and it's really easy to shoot. So far, I like it a lot. Um, I could see just taking this out in the woods, just kind of plinking around at stuff. Um, right now. We're shooting at that target right there. Just got some paper on there. I'm kind of showing the kids uh, gun safety. So um, I'll maybe do a... Uh, Here are the pellets. I'm just using the regular pointed pellets right now and using the pellet trap and it works pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and shoot a little bit more. Okay, this is Homestead Boy 2. He hasn't shot a lot, so this is his first shot with this gun. Go ahead, bud. Remember, keep the gun always pointed in a safe direction. Put your arms out in front of you. You got to take the safety off. You hit the top of the target, you probably you get them used to range commands, not running down to check the target unless they've been told that the range is clear and that they're free to go check the target, stuff like that. Just basic safety stuff. Um, I'm only pumping this up three or four times. It would still hurt, but you know, it's not gonna, and the other thing I'm telling, teaching them about is making sure the dog is inside, making sure there aren't chickens behind the target so that if you miss the target, you're not hitting anything that you would care about destroying. Um, so, I, first impressions, I really like this. It's not big, it's not, um, it's not bulky or anything. Uh, I could very easily, you know, put it in some sort of holster, um, or just carry it. It's not heavy. Some of the bigger, um, we've got a break action, um, pellet rifle for the boys, and it's great, but I wouldn't want to carry it around a lot, because it's kind of big and heavy. Um, this, not big and heavy. So, so far so good. So all the kids got to shoot it, except for Homestead Girl 3, and actually Homestead Boy 1, he's sleeping, he doesn't feel real well. Um, but this is it right here. Like I said, it's the American Classic. It's model P1377, and it shoots .177 caliber pellets, which are these things here. These pellets right here, you buy them in the tin. So, it's fun little um, pellet gun to use. Uh, easy to, you know, teach kids the basics of firearms with something that's a little bit less um, intimidating. So, in case you guys were wondering, both the firearm and the pellets will be going into the safe where the kids can't get it. You guys can see here on the door how dirty it is. I told you it wouldn't last long. It rained the afternoon after we brought the car home. I mean, it was Tuesday. Anyway, um, so it was the day after. Told you that we went and got feed yesterday. I haven't put it over there yet. We're down to our last bag and all of the containers over there, but it was uh, wet and rainy yesterday and it was slow to dry out this morning. So sometime this afternoon, I'll probably drive the car over there and we'll load this all up um, into that chest freezer, into that chest freezer and um, the barrels that we use for the pigs and the chickens and the cow and sheep feed. So, you know, grab the garbage cans. How many of you guys have um, garbage pickup? I'm curious. Um, we, so when we lived in a subdivision, it was included with our homeowners association fees. When we moved out here, you know, you just pay for it by yourself, no big deal. Um, and we have recycling pickup, which I'm very thankful for. Some places don't have that. So do you guys have recycling? pick up as well leave a comment down below if you could um, I'm just curious because 
I don't know what we'd do if we didn't have a recycling pickup. We'd throw a lot more stuff in the landfill, which would be a bummer. But like this, you know, Amazon box. We could burn it, but it can also be recycled, so. I'm gonna throw it in with recycling and just see. We got the blue top bin for recycling, the other one for garbage. Works out pretty well. We got some friends coming over later to um, learn how to milk. It is a beautiful day. It is a tad warm and it is really humid, but it is just gorgeous out. And you guys can look across the field there. It's, it's beautiful. Um, but something is really eating at me. It's having to turn the air conditioning on in September, in the end of September even. Um, and it, we're going to have to for like this whole week. It's supposed to be in the mid to upper 80s through I think like next Wednesday or something. So you can tell there must be something going on on the highway because our road is never this busy unless there's a problem on the highway. So I'm going to head inside. I'm playing basketball tonight. So after our friends come over to learn how to milk, I'm heading off to basketball and I won't be home until late. So I'm going to have to edit this video quite late. Okay, guys, just got home. I managed not to hurt myself. Missed a couple shots, made a couple shots. Life is good. I'm heading to bed. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.